Well, hello from New York City, and yes, I'm wearing a Phillies cap. Sorry, everybody around here, but I actually am about to head to Philly to bring you a video selfie style. I've been to Citizens Bank Park dozens of times over the years. This will be the first time that I am taking a train to get there. So there's something potentially huge that could happen at the game. I'll mention it when I get to the stadium, but for right now, join me on this mini travel adventure. It's only about noon right now. Game time is 6.05 p.m. So this is gonna be a long, fun day. Here we go. Track 15 West. There it is, the city of brotherly love. Not too bad of a trip today. It took an hour and 52 minutes on Amtrak and it would have been quicker, but there was a delay at the end. And then, well, I took a few moments to appreciate Philadelphia's 30th Street Station, which I gotta say is really nice. Then I headed outside and got into a cruddy taxi to the stadium. That was only a 12 minute ride, which of course cost $23 with the tip, but whatever, I'm here and I am very happy to be here, although, Check this out, the sky in that direction looks ominous. The forecast when I woke up today in New York City was great, and now as you can see, the radar looks dangerous. Not sure what the status is gonna be for batting practice and the game. I really cannot afford to have a rain delay because my return train to New York leaves three hours and 50 minutes after the scheduled first pitch. So even if there's no delay and the game goes kinda long, I could be screwed. And listen, the reason that I'm here, well, the St. Louis Cardinals are in town and Paul Goldschmidt, who is having a Hall of Fame type season, as of this moment has 299 career home runs. And who knows when this video will get posted, but as of this moment, he's going for the milestone. So I got a seat in deep left field, got the GoPro. Um, I'll throw that on at some point, but yeah, for right now, just walking over to the left field gate. Twenty minutes till the gates open. Got the GoPro ready. I think these guys are ready, right? Yeah. Here we go. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Show this for a second. We got Nick Castellano signed there, Kyle Gibson signed there, and I get the middle. It's like the sweet spot of jerseys. Thank you. Okay. Please let there be batting practice. Ow! 
Any chance you could toss one up before it gets too crazy, please? Oh, no way. Oh, a little oh. short. Zach, no way you already get one. Here, here, no way. Here, here. Zach, Zach. Ain't no way. Thank you. Zach, Zach, there it you is. You want it? Yeah. Thank you. There you go. All right, didn't even have my glove on. There it is. You want it? Thank you, Zach. Hey, Zach. Hey, what's up? to say that things are off to a great start. Not only are they taking batting practice, but I've gotten three quick baseballs and you can see that I have thrown on the Cardinals shirt in case that helps. Got the Cardinals hat on, but the GoPro is blocking the logo. So right now, I'll just show you the view. We got a lefty up there, but it seems like there are a few good righties in this group. So hoping for more action soon. Oh yeah, were well, you the one that the ball tipped? Okay. Um, oh man, sorry about that. I certainly was not trying to poke any fun. We were both just like, what the hell happened? So after the first group of Cardinals batting practice, I decided to head out of left field, run like crazy through the concourse over to right field because I was playing the numbers. There were three lefties in that group, so there was definitely a good chance of some action coming out that way. But it was really crowded in the seats, and unfortunately those guys just did not hit a ton of home runs. And so I got nothing during the second group, which is all right. Again, I'm just happy that there even was batting practice today. Two groups, that's it, but no complaints. And I think there are a few people waiting to hang out. What's up? Yeah! All right, so gonna sign a few autographs, maybe take some pictures, and then uh, maybe find some food and wander around a bit. Let's do it. So are you guys all subscribed? Yes! yes. yes. Post notifications? Yes! yes. yes. There you go. Thanks, Zach. Thank you so much. Sure. There you go. It is an honor to sign a Roy Halladay jersey. One, one, eight. Four, one. There you go. Can I get this? Sure. What is this? That's for me? You work here. What do you do here? A uh, supervisor. Okay, as long as you're a stadium employee, it counts. My man. Number four on the day. Thank you. Wow. Hey, would you guys like a baseball? Got an extra one today before the game. This is first game, so sweet. Well, hey, enjoy. Take it easy. Reunited, and it feels so good. I didn't buy it. People were asking about you. They're like, no Fenway Chris today? Fenway Chris is here, but he's uh, with company and uh, sitting down in front, courtesy of uh, guests of uh, a friend of mine. You want to be in the video? No. No? All right. Well, it's just us then. Hi. Hi. Bye. I have to go get food and then get to the outfield. I got to go pee and get beer. Shocker. How about that? Fenway Chris in the building after all. So, I just asked him, because he's just here with his wife, he's not working, he's sitting right behind the Phillies dugout, and I told him, listen, I'm gonna be in left field, and if Goldsmith hits one and I catch it, even though it's your night off, can you please come out to the outfield and just film the hoopla in the aftermath, 
and he said that he would. So I wonder if that offer extends to catching an Albert Pujols homer. I don't know, but no, it's just great to see him. The last time I was here earlier this season, I wanted to get food, but ran out of time before the game. But I knew then what I wanted to get the next time, and that next time is today. Over on the first base side near home plate, there is a vegetarian concession stand that has an impossible cheesesteak. Looks so good, it's got tomato jam, Gouda cheese sauce, crispy onions. You can see a nice close-up shot of what this thing looks like. I feel like I'm gonna need about 50 napkins to get through it, and here it is. I'm gonna put my phone down in a second and try to film myself eating it. And just very quickly, you can see where I am. Kind of, it's blown out in the background, but left field foul line, game time is like 15, 20 minutes away. So uh, here we go. It's falling apart. Nice to get some close-up looks at the man I came here to see, Paul Goldschmidt, and another man that I'm always happy to see, Albert Pujols. The Phillies did a little pre-game ceremony for him, which was cool. And right now, you can see where I am. That is the left field foul pole. I switched into my lucky MLB hat for the game. Still got the GoPro ready, so yeah, the Phillies should be taking the field any second. Yo! All right, top of the first inning, two outs, and there he is, Goldschmidt, at 299. Uh, well, good for Goldie, but bad for me sitting out here in deep left field. As Arenado hits one into the corner, that is going to be a foul ball. So Nolan Arenado hit an RBI triple. I was not filming for that. And then Juan Yepes struck out to end the top of the first. So the Cardinals got a quick one nothing lead. As Schwarber delivers the leadoff single. I know the action is kind of hard to see with a GoPro, so Paul Goldschmidt just ripped a double down in the left field corner. And then with my iPhone, I filmed Nolan Arenado circling the bases after a two-run homer. So the Cardinals are up 3-0 right now in the top of the third. And by the way, that uh, vegetarian cheesesteak that I had, it was pretty good, not life-changing. That and the smart water and a 15% tip cost $29. Oh boy, yeah, this whole day down in Philly for me with the uh, $186 round trip train ticket and the cabs and the food and the $53 seat out in left field is definitely going to run me over 300 bucks. So, hope it's worth it. Cardinals designated hitter, Albert Kuhlholz. Let's go, Albert! You catch, catch a Kuhlholz home run ball. 
tomorrow, it's just a ball. Except in unless, your heart. Yeah, unless somebody videotapes it and you have it on tape. Or yeah, but you can still switch balls. Right, right, right. You know, you just there's a million mud rub game balls that all look the same. So it's it's tough. This dude right here, Lakim, is hooking it up. We got the ice cream. We got a smart water down there. So, thank you. And he gave me my fourth ball of the day today. So, my man, thank you. Excuse me. Excuse, what excuse me. Hello. Excuse me. Excuse me. Dude, I'm off today. What are you doing here? Can you not block my row? These are my tickets. Are you in the same row as me? Get out of here. Do we get the same tickets? <laughs> have put up a three spot to tie this game in the last two runs scored without a hit. There was an RBI ground out by Kyle Schwarber and then a sack fly to center field by Reese Hoskins. So right now, top six, it's three to three. Juan Yepes is at the plate and Albert Pujols is on deck. Struck him out. Yeah, you went, buddy, sorry. This game has moved along to the bottom of the sixth inning, still tied at three, and I decided to stretch my legs, and this is the situation as the setting sun is right in my eyes as I stand here deep in the concourse in left center field. I have to leave the stadium at most an hour from now. I should probably actually leave like 50 minutes from now, so I don't know if I'm gonna get to see the whole game. I am going to head back down to the seats and try to figure out when Paul Goldschmidt is coming up because I would love to stay at least for his final at bat. I mean, if the game goes into extras, he might get more than one more at bat. Uh oh! Look at this! Home run! All right, well, if the score holds up, now it's 4 3 Phillies. There will not be a bottom of the ninth, so. Maybe I will see this whole thing. All right, back to the seats we go. Well, check this out. I'm with the two guys, Oscar and Brett, from the Fandemic crew. I did a video with them in 2020 when I was hanging outside the stadium when there were no fans. So, what's up, guys? What's up? Man? Great to see you. That is always good to see you, man. I appreciate the warm welcome in Philly. And right now, uh, by the way, that was Derek Hall who hit the home run before, right? Yep, two home runs last night and another home run tonight. So Very impressive. And. The Goldschmidt watch, he is up fourth this inning, so top seven. He'll either bat in the seventh or the eighth, so I can definitely see him at least once more before I leave frowny face to get back to the train station. Anyway, guys, again, great seeing you. Cardinals just got picked off first base. I mean, I needed a base runner this inning for Goldschmidt to bat. These guys over here said that I should probably take off ASAP, and I'm like, listen, I'll miss my train if I have to. I gotta see Goldie, but damn it, Cardinals. Uh, now Dylan Carlson is up with two outs, nobody on, and Goldschmidt's on deck. I wish that he would get on base. I can see Goldschmidt and then take off. I mean, you can see it's getting dark. Time is passing quickly. Let's go! 
All right, full count, Dylan. Please. Another reason why I can't leave, well, not only is Goldschmidt going to lead off the top of the eighth, but then Arenado is going to follow, and he's a single short of the cycle. Then we got Juan Yepes up third, and Pujols up fourth, so it's already less than an hour until my train leaves, and oh, guys, this is getting dicey. Goldie struck out, and now we got Arenado going for the cycle. So, do I root for a home run, or do I root for him to get a single to actually get the cycle? Let's see. Unbelievable. Nolan Arenado just made history, and when he reached base, I wasn't sure how they were gonna score it, but it turns out they did score it a single. How cool is that? But then after his at bat, and when I realized that they were gonna pinch it for pool holes, I took off. I had to make a quick escape. So I hauled ass through the concourse, around the outfield. My friends Brett and Oscar from the Fandemic crew, well, they had told me exactly which gate to head out of in order to find a taxi quickly, and they were right. I ran outside, headed out into the street, and immediately flagged one down. Now that driver wanted me to pay $40, which is way too much. I talked him down to 30, which is still too much, but thankfully not that much more than it cost me to get from the station to the stadium in the first place. And look, I made it. You can see where I am. I am outside the train station right now. It's a little windy here, so I hope you guys can hear me. My train is leaving in just a few minutes, so this will be brief. I got four baseballs today, gave them all away, but they all count. So that raises my lifetime total to 11,842. And if you're wondering, yes, I have seen a cycle before. I've seen a few of them. Jose Reyes at Shea Stadium years ago. Randy Wynn playing for the Giants when I was in Cincinnati. I will link to my blog entries about those. I think I wrote blog entries about them both. Um, I was at Coors Field when Trey Turner hit for the cycle, made a video. Basically, whatever I have links for, I'll throw it in the description. So I think this is my fourth cycle that I've seen. Crazy. So yeah, I really have to go. The train is almost here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm not even sure when my next video will be. I'll just give you one last look, <clears throat> losing my voice in downtown Philadelphia. Just a gorgeous night. Um, and yeah. I'm heading inside. Gotta get on this train and I'll probably be home around midnight. Bye everybody, thanks again for watching. I hate leaving games early and look at this crap. My train has been delayed so I could have stayed for the whole game after all.